The opinions expressed in the following program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect those of Rogers or Rogers TV. And welcome back to Cable 10 Live. I'm your host, Natalia Arbolita, and welcome to another segment of The Health Zone. To cleanse or not to cleanse? That is the question. There are pills, teas, so many different options. Some even claiming you'll lose up to 30 pounds. Now, is this fact, fiction, or just another fad? I'm joined by our health guru, who is expert, Kate Steffi. How are you today, Kate? I'm great, thank you so much. Now, help me, help me figure this out here. So I hear cleansing, I hear detoxing. Is there a difference, or are we just using the same word kind of like interchangeably? Yeah, absolutely. So detoxing and cleansing can be used interchangeably. Uh, detoxing would be more of a clinical word. Cleansing is more um, is used more so to connotate, you know, nice feelings and um, you know it's not as scary. And uh, detoxing is very much more like you know what you're getting yourself into and it's not going to be pleasant. Yeah. That's, that's the thought anyway. We want to kind of ease people into it and make them to feel comfortable about it, of sure. course, right? Yeah. Um, so again, I, I find that cl cleansing, um, it, it has this almost this negative connotation, you know, um, we're afraid that we might experience some sort of discomfort, mm -hmm. um, you know, feelings of having to go to the bathroom and, and create these bowel movements. Is, is that true? Is, is, that, is that what you should be experiencing or? Not necessarily. Um, with cleansing, if you are experiencing multiple bowel movements a day, like say more than two, two would be about normal. If it's more than that, um, you're getting into sort of that uh, territory of dehydration and um, unhealthiness. Okay, so, so we're doing the complete yeah, opposite. Yeah, so then. you're doing the opposite. You're really right. actually putting more stress on your body by by do like by being that you know strict and and uh, clean with your body if you're if you're eliminating that often you're not going to feel good of course you're not, not, yeah. not going to have good energy and you are likely setting yourself up for dehydration among other issues i mean multiple bowel movements per day can can mean um gastrointestinal issues so then what is the main goal of you know doing a detox am i going to in fact lose those 30 pounds or, or whatever it is that, that these products or these um, programs are claiming? Well, with uh, some cleansing and they're claiming these crazy amounts of weight that you're <laughs> going to lose, um, in, a, in a typical scenario, no, it, that's not typical weight loss. Now, a lot of these things too, you have to be careful. Where, which weight is this person starting with? Are they starting at a really obese high level of weight? Or are they a normal person? Because right. for me to lose 30 pounds would not be healthy at all. Um, if I lose one or two, it's still not, not a, what I want, right? Um, so for some people, they might actually lose that kind of weight and it's likely what we call water weight. Right. So okay. because you're eliminating a lot, um, you're gonna be uh, seeing a lot of water weight coming off and not necessarily fat, which is what the person really wants to lose. So could the weight loss then, you, you can say it, it's kind of um, one of the effects of doing a cleanse just because you're doing a lifestyle change in that case because part of the cleansing process is making better choices for yourself, is it not? Yeah, absolutely. So with cleansing, it's usually a transition into eating a more healthy diet, a, a healthier lifestyle. Yeah. And the cleansing, um, is, it's really good at setting people up for that uh, rather than being the, the be all and end all. So no, so when you're looking at uh, 30 day cleanses mm -hmm. and you're not eating any food and you're just drinking these concoctions or something, um, it's not necessarily gonna be very healthy for you. You need to be making sure that you get those nutrients in. So if we're, so what you're saying as well then, I, I guess, so foods are, are detoxifying. What sorts of foods should we be, you know, picking up at the grocery store? What can I do today that's going to get me started? So if you want to use the food sort of cleansing, which right. is what I always recommend, and which I think is fantastic. I love food. I'm, I'm yeah. totally good with that. That's, that sounds <laughs> yeah, more fun to me. Yeah, we're okay. doing good with food. Right. Um, you're going to look for green leafy vegetables and herbs. Uh, there's specific types of herbs and uh, like cilantro and parsley are very detoxifying. Um, anything green and leafy. 
you want to head straight to that, that area of the grocery store. You want to look for kale, for broccoli, for uh, lettuce, romaine lettuce, um, anything like that. We came up when we were talking over the phone, um, some really great helpful hip, um, hints and tips um, that people can do at home right away. Um, I know at the beginning you were saying, like, what, what would you, how would we jumpstart that if we wanted to start something, things that we can do at home? Yeah, sure. So for what people would want to go through is they want to clear the clutter out of their life. Yes. So you want to make sure that you're getting rid of all of that um, oh excess junk. Get rid know, of the Oreos. Of Are you telling me I got to get rid of the Oreos? Yes. Okay. So we're yes. going to clear the clutter. Clear the junk. So I mean, and that goes for your kitchen. That goes for your space. So if you have a really messy living space, you're not going to feel very energetic. You're going to feel a little bit bogged down. Right. So clear that clutter too. Okay. And then clear the mind clutter. So if you're negatively talking about yourself or anything like that, you want to clear those things as well and uh, feel positive because what you're doing is going to be really great for you. Right. Yeah. Anything else? So then after that, we've gotten rid of all those things. Now we have to replace all right, that food the with the good store. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to get to the grocery store after you take all the processed foods all the sugar out of your diet. I know it sounds so horrible, no more Oreos, but oh. you're gonna go to the grocery store and grab um, all the, the you know, lettuces and you're gonna grab your fruits and your veggies and herbs, herbs, herbs right? Yep. Chlorophyll. Beets, nice and beets are fantastic for your liver. Get a whole big bag of lemons. Um, lemon water is absolutely fantastic. It stimulates the liver and really right. helps to clean. Um, the liver and also other organs as well, keeping you hydrated because the more water you drink, the more, the more cleansing is going to actually happen. There's some other um, different foods that are really, really helpful in a cleanse as well. Anything that has um, high fiber content. Right. So things like lentils actually per gram of food have the highest amount of uh, fiber than anything else. Um, so really easy source of fiber and protein and carbs and it's just it's a great powerhouse food. So all in all, so we want to get rid of the junk food. We yep. want to replace it. We've got to you know form some some healthy some healthy habits, um, whether it be you know cooking more or you know just um, being positive in our mindset and, yep. and kind of really sticking to the plan. Um, what other I mean last words would you would you want to say to help motivate and really push? somebody to maybe try this transition? So the biggest thing for people to know is that you don't have to do this alone. Get some support and that can be from a really good friend, a family member, or from a nutritionist. I mean holistic nutritionists are trained in helping people through this cleansing process and it's a really great way of making sure that you meet those goals because accountability is really where it's going to can right. make the difference for you. Fantastic. Well, I think we've got you know a really great idea of you know what cleansing is and, and why we should do. And I really appreciate you coming in today. Um, and of course, to all of our viewers, thank you so much for tuning in to the Health Zone on Cable 10 Live. I'm your host, Natalia Arbolita. Thanks again.